<laughs> Hello, <laughs> Natasha. What's up? How's it going? Ah, it's becoming fall and I'm not pleased. I don't like cold weather. <laughs> yeah, me too. I am with you on that one. But it's always yeah. fun to work on our project. So yeah, fall's <laughs> good, winter not. <laughs> I feel the same way. Um, so why don't you remind us of what last month's project was? Okay, so I love hitting Goodwill and flea markets and antique malls and just grabbing things and then upcycling them. So uh, that's what I challenged both of us to do. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you my project now. I can't wait. I was inspired by your last project, actually, Lori, and you had created those lovely jars that you painted. So yes. I went to Goodwill. I was also looking for silhouettes of things that I could do something with. And so what I decided to do was work on some Halloween decorations because it's October. And let me switch to my other camera here. And I think I can show you. And I oh, wow. some candlesticks. Oh, those are so great. And I painted everything kind of black. And I also found these amazing little jars that before looked just like, um, they were they were kind of witchy, but I like witched them up a little bit with a nice coat of paint. You witched them. Yeah, I witched them up. Uh, you know, I put some paint on them. I put some uh, cheesecloth. Oh, I love the cheesecloth. That's awesome thing and oh is that a jar yeah so this started off with silver so i painted it black this was a creepy little dish that i glued to the top and then i found these like creepy eyeballs and i decided oh. that i decided that the story was going to be that there was a witch who was trying to grow eyeballs to spy on you with because surveillance is such a big fear in people's minds these days so, oh my god. Um, this was the top of a candle that was at Goodwill. And then this is fabulous. <laughs> is that one piece? The one piece does it light up? Yes, this one. So I originally found this cool old jar. It's just a mason jar, but it had these this texture in it. I thought, how? Uh -huh. uh, and then I decided that this was going to be a spot for an eyeball to be growing. <laughs> Oh my god. And I originally it's wanted to make it into a lava lamp, but the concoction of a lava lamp was very hard to uh, come by. So what I did is I just put oil, vegetable oil and water that had a little green paint in it and it yeah. still made like a pretty cool glowing effect. Oh my god, these are amazing. So amazing. I love I love the rainbow coming out of the skeleton's eyeball. <laughs> Well, you know, I figured it probably still needed like an incubation period. <laughs> and then this one's like, it's fully formed and ready to like be inserted somewhere, I guess. <laughs> oh, you have so inspired me. This is amazing. And I'm so excited, Lori, because I think that I'm going to keep going with this project because I can keep going to Goodwill and pulling new little pieces that look like they could have a creepy past that I can pull out of them and just keep going for years with little trinkets and things. Oh, I love that. Them. You could so. do like a whole mantle scape like that with spider webs and cheese. Oh my God, yes. I love it. Yeah, I'm so excited. And the other cute thing or scary thing is on this dish, on it was this child um, troll and it has oh, a knife. Boy. <laughs> oh, weird. That is amazing. <laughs> oh, my so God. Fun. What a great challenge. <laughs> oh, I should have thought to do something for Halloween. Duh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Didn't you know, do that with my project. Oh, well. It's coming up so soon. I know. <laughs> I know. I mean, I helped with my daughter's costume this year, but I my project is not Halloween. Oh, well. Okay. Well, I can't wait to see it. So why don't you show me? Okay, so I purchased this little suitcase at a flea market years ago because um, I always wanted to do something to it. And um, I, I wanted something that I could carry around little canvases and paint and brushes. So I had like a, an Insta studio. Oh. And my other inspiration was I'm, I'm a child of the 60s and I had this super mod 
sleeping bag when I was growing up. That was this these flower power florals. So oh nice. This, so this is my little suitcase. That oh, that's wonderful. It started out just you know this plain um, this color this plain color, and so now it's all painted up, painted both sides with crazy flowers. That's fantastic. I love, well, of course, I always love your use of color, but I love that this is like a piece of art for creating art. <laughs> so I can carry this around with my canvases in it. And then on the inside, I put this little, um, little pocket oh, here that I can put brushes in. And then this is where I can put my little canvases and some craft paints to paint. So wow. I, I, we go to Hilton Head once a year with our family, and I always bring art projects with me when we go. And so this little suitcase will come with me when I go on that trip every year. That's perfect. You have that, like, ready-to-go kit. My, my so, portable traveling art studio, ready to go. That's fantastic, and it almost reminds me of those, like, travel trunks that people bring with them, and they'll add, like, stickers and things. But you're adding yeah, so maybe I'll add stuff to it as I as I go along. I don't oh, know. Oh, I love <laughs> I love it. I I love that uh, this object now has such a purpose and it's going to keep evolving over time. That's even better. That's really cool. Well, I kind of now I'm I love these the size of this guy cuz it's just a little tiny little suitcase. So Great. I'm kind of I'm kind of suitcase obsessed now and I might have to hunt for more to paint and I it don't know what I'll do with the other yeah, yeah. That, that exact object was, wow. You know, it's hard know. to find that stuff. I know. <laughs> it was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that's amazing, Lori. Great job. <laughs> uh, and, oh, I think she's frozen. Oh, no. Perfect. I have so many other upcycle things that I want to do, so I'll keep doing those. Yeah. Oh, and we have more to look at because we have a special guest. Yay! So, uh, Melinda, are you here? Melinda! Welcome! Welcome! <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to share your project. Uh, why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself and then show what you created. Thank you for having me, guys. So I'm Melinda, um, living in Portland, Oregon, and I actually work at a craft studio. I'm a craft teacher, so I get to craft for work. Um, and my project, I have a lot of plants, and right now, like, bringing them all in from outdoors, I have even more. So I'm trying to think of creative ways to put them all. And so I love getting, like, baskets, and I found this little, let me switch it over. I found this little basket and this magazine rack. Wow. Aww. I turned the magazine rack upside down and like did a little macrame on it. I was inspired oh by like the so fun. planters. Um, and this was just a white basket that I painted and like added pom poms to. Oh, and it's so fun. Yeah. So fun. Planter idea. <laughs> that is so great. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it started out as just a white basket um, and had the whole like Easter basket handle that I just like oh. um, and then just painted, did some fun little designs on, added some pom poms and adorable. So many people have extra Easter baskets because you know, mm -hmm. someone might give you one and then you're like, what am I going to do with all of these Easter baskets? And I love that you thought to just be like, Snip these handles off. Let me make this a regular, cute, adorable basket. That's the beauty yeah. of upcycling. Upcycling. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I think you did the same thing too uh, that Laura did last week and I did, which is you're kind of like looking for this silhouette of something or or this mm -hmm. part of something that's useful to you. And you're just ignoring everything else because you know yep. you can change it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Well, I'm super inspired by everyone's project, um, and I have a new challenge for next Yay! Month. And it's funny, Lori, because you started off mentioning how you don't necessarily love winter. 
Yeah. And I am a big fan of Game of Thrones. I don't know if anyone watches that show, but there's this uh, mon mantra that's like, winter is coming. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. I have been thinking about that. It's going to be a lot of hours with darkness. We don't have a lot of places to go. So that is actually the theme that I want the next challenge to be. Make a project that will help you through the winter. Uh, oh, wow. Whether that be okay. mentally, physically, um, craftingly. I don't know if that's a verb. <laughs> uh, but that is the that's challenge. That's a good one. Coming, make something that will get you through the winter and start now before it gets too dark and you don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I think I need to go to a beach to make this project. <laughs> is, is, that a, is that a possibility? <laughs> hey, uh, we make our own rules here, so. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, that's a good one. That's a really good one. So if you are watching this and you want to join us on uh, this show next month, please let us know. Hashtag um, keep on making, on making find it. You, or direct message me on Instagram and we'll have you on the show. All right. So I will send you off with that to go make and we will keep on making it. Keep on making it. All right. <laughs> All right. See bye. you next time.